if I go to another club, if I go to another function and there's another girl dancing and I smell something, I'm going to lose it. What's up, y'all? So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna be doing a feminine video or feminine hygiene, your hygiene video, whatever y'all wanna call it. I've been seeing these kind of videos going around for a long time and I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and do one because I just feel like some of these girls on here be lying. They don't really be telling y'all like what y'all should and shouldn't be doing. You know, you know what I mean? Like, let's, we, we finna talk for real, okay? Some of these girls out here, they little, their nannies be a little off and why sometimes when you in the club and y'all dancing, you gotta hit, you know, probably your home girl or somebody around y'all with one of them, mm. Mm, we, you know what I'm saying? Mm, so, so look, we could help them out. You know what I'm saying? So today, I wrote down a few things that I wanted y'all to know. We're gonna start off slow and steady, and then we're gonna just jump right into it. Look, I know everybody likes to, you know, take baths and take showers, but it's a lot of girls out here that don't like to bathe, okay? And I feel like bathing is the number one most important thing next to brushing that tongue. So like when I say bathe, baby, I don't mean bathe like rubbing the soap and you rubbing and just rub, baby, scrub. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it don't just be your, your nanny. Okay, it does, it's not just your nanny, it's everywhere around you. You know what I'm saying as well. You have to take care of your entire body in order to take care of the important areas as well. You know what I'm saying? If your pores stink, everything else will stink. So you have to make sure that you're scrubbing your body. A lot of these girls online be talking about not bathing your vagina with soap. I do not recommend you bathing your body, your, your your nanny with soap. But what I do recommend, what I can say is, you have to use the right soap. Okay? You can't use soaps that are like, look, I'm not gonna get technical into the scientific. Y'all don't care about that, baby. Use you some Dove or some Summer's Eve or some Dial okay use you some of that and that'll help you you know what i'm saying because if you do have any type of like problems with the whole uh nanny area you can take this product right here say for instance you get some soap inside your vagina like you, you know you know how you bathe in your around your your nanny or whatever and you're trying to like get in there like just like on the you know around it not in the vagina girl around it and you scrubbing and stuff some sometimes say for you accidentally get it up in there i would suggest you use these pills right here okay Ooh, girl can you see these pills right here okay these pills help if you have any type of like itching any burning any yeast infections or anything of that sort it literally will cleanse you out if you even start to come up with any kind of like smells and stuff like that or if you start to kind of like have some type of like pigment to where it's like yellow or green mm, mm, yellow or greenish or anything of that sort you might want to use this not gonna lie this does help this does work some people and like me I like to be very cautious with my body and stuff. So they also have this as well. These are strips. These are the pH balance strips. So let me show you guys how this basically works. You can basically use these strips and it comes with a tester. So when I open this, let me open this real quick so I can show you guys, cause listen. Okay, so you can kind of test your vagina, right? So right here, it'll say, green this gr this dark green means baby okay it's that it's abnormal as hell okay if you take it out and it's it's this it's it's this color you you need some help okay you might want to probably start taking the pills or if it's or if that's not working you might need to go to the doctor but i'm pretty sure the pills and the um, the stuff that i'm about to show you guys in a minute are gonna work then you have this if it's yellow then that means that it's normal and i'm not talking about your your actual back like your um discharge i'm talking about stuff like the, the the strips when they when it comes out and it has this color and stuff you can know whether whether or not you're straight or not you know what i'm saying that can help you okay if you need to know okay is something wrong with me or am i just itching because i got like some ingrown hairs you feel me and i will have all the information down below because i know some of you girls are going to be asking me about it and where i get where where where's the link i will have it down below but i'm telling you guys now this stuff works take these pills and i promise you you will not regret it okay another thing ladies and i'm gonna say this and i'm keeping it real with y'all 
stop letting that man nothing you okay stop letting him nothing you because once he does that he's knocking all he when i tell you he's knocking your entire ph balance completely off he's knocking it off okay it's to the point to where you i don't know if any of you guys have had sex or have done anything without a condom and got nuts in or whatever and you kind of smell the smell of his nut coming out of you or you smell like some weird stuff it's because when two different ph balances are kind of like um colliding it's creating something that's just not normal you know what i'm saying your you know you know what i'm saying like your ph balance is just going like this with his it's just doing this and you don't need it to do that you need it to flow okay so even if that does happen try to take a bath with some like epsom salt or something like that and try to really get that out of your system if that's something that you like but if you are a woman stop doing that because it kind of it, it it does mess you up i know y'all be in the moment and y'all just be wanting to yes yeah you know what i'm saying and it, you just can't do that like that's not what's up okay it's just it's just not what's up okay and then y'all be putting y'all little panties on afterwards and y'all just be stealing it all in there just stop doing that another thing i can say is a lot of people talk about the whole cotton panty thing but like i know some girls who wear cotton panties and they, they almost said it their their nannies be stinking so it can help to prevent that because i do love wearing cotton panties and i literally buy them all the time i can't say it does help to maintain a healthy vagina but don't just think that if you if your vagina is stinking or your vagina is doing some weird stuff you could just put some cotton panties on it's gonna help it no baby you need to get some help you need to figure that out and use what i just told either use what i just told you or take your ass to the doctor okay because we don't got time <laughs> we don't got time for that you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they're going to give you up in there, but I'm pretty sure it's not nothing crazy. So do, you know, do either or, okay? Um, We all know about like drinking water and stuff like that. Make sure that you guys are also watching what y'all are eating. This also can help when you are even having a guy like go down on you and stuff like that. It's kind of like you gotta, gotta watch what you eat because what you eat really is a representation of who you are down there, you know? Like if I'm eating a whole bunch of red meats and stuff like that, it can when i'm when i when you start like it can start to become a problem that's why i don't eat red meats like that like it's very rare that i eat red meats like i don't really be eating like that but if you want your coochie to stink eat the hell out of some red meat constantly 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 back to back to back and you're gonna see what's gonna happen you're gonna see what's gonna happen um all that soda and whatever y'all be doing sprite ginger ale whatever people use that when they're sick it's not that big of a problem if you have like a little healthy balance you know what i'm saying but other than that don't just drink it to the point to where it's kind of like this is a daily thing like i'm gonna go give me a two liter or something don't do that drink your water drink your fruit based uh juices make sure that you are um at least trying your best to stay half organic and half you know what i'm saying your way because i know y'all can't just let a lot of things go so make sure you kind of kind of keeping a balance with that because that can become a problem later on um also this is something i don't hear people talking about some of y'all okay i know some of my ladies my little babies out here y'all like to like not wear any panties so why would you sit down on like just anywhere if you're not wearing any panties that also can affect your vagina because when you hot and you going outside and you doing stuff and you sitting down everywhere you start to get musty everybody gets a musty everybody done had a musty smell before like bitch, if you say you did you a mother lie because everybody done had one of them days but why would you go ahead and just do all this crazy stuff and you're sitting down everywhere and you're wondering why uh, what, what's going on like Bitch, cause you just sitting anywhere and you ain't got no damn panties on. That's nasty. Y'all can't just be wearing no panties when y'all are going into environments where you know you're gonna have to sit. Like you going to a football game or you going to a basketball game. Why would you sit in them nasty ass? They don't be wiping that stuff down. Stop doing that. Put some panties on. Cotton, preferably. Put some panties on. Okay, please. It stinks in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> baby, do something. Okay but um yeah just make sure that you are watching where you sit watching what you do because that can affect you wearing those loose ass dresses outside and then sitting down on a bench outside you're nasty stop oh my god or at least put some cotton down there like put your dress do something with it 
Don't like stop doing all that. You can and I can't say let your vagina breathe. I'm not look, baby. I don't look. <laughs> Cause I don't wear pants sometimes, but I don't be just sitting down everywhere. I will stand up. Like I'm not finna no, I'm not finna do that to myself. I don't know where that's been. I don't know where that's at. All on the all on the damn uh plane and stuff. No. Um we can't we can't be doing all that. Um, another thing that I like to do at night is I like to basically sleep naked. It can like help your confidence while also kind of like letting everything just flow. You know what I'm saying? Like allowing you to just feel yourself and just be embodied with your scent. You know what I'm saying? Most girls don't sleep like that because they scared of their scent. Like if they take their panties off and they get in the bed and try to go to sleep underneath the covers, they know they coochie stinks so they can't bear it so they make sure that it's barricaded. Stop barricading that baby. Let that baby, let that baby free. Let her go. Let her go. At nighttime, let her go. Okay, if you take taking showers every night and you get up sometimes, some people like to take showers in the morning, some people don't. But if you're taking showers every single night, you shouldn't have a problem with sleeping naked every single night, baby. That hell, that can save some damn pajamas. You, you don't got to use all your, your, your damn liquid detergent when you're in the, um, um, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to wash some damn clothes. You can save some damn clothes. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, you can save some panties, you can save some clothes. Sleep naked. Make sure that you're washing your damn sheets every fucking week. Stop doing that. Stop. Make sure that you are washing them sheets. Y'all be keeping y'all sheets in, in, in on the damn bed for two to three weeks. Stop doing that. It's nasty in there. You walking all over the house and then you coming in the bed, putting your feet at the bottom of the bed, thinking that it's not gonna catch up to that ass. It's gonna catch up to you. Stop. Okay? Y'all gotta y'all gotta get it together. Cause if I go to another club, if I go to another club. If I go to another function and there's another girl dancing and I smell something, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. The next time I go to a club and I smell something, I'm going to lose it. So just make sure that y'all are keeping y'all selves together. Y'all are embodying who y'all are. Y'all are making sure that y'all are on point. Stop sleeping with everybody because you will either con con concoct concoct a disease or you will concoct a funky cooch and i just feel like you you don't need either or so make sure that you guys are doing what y'all need to do out here in these streets stop having these men talk to y'all i don't know if y'all ever had i mean shit so half these women really don't listen i'm gonna just end it off like this okay if i can smell your vagina you can smell it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't. Shit, it is what it is. Baby, you still watch it. You probably feel my vibe if you came this far. But yeah, I just had to shed some light because I just feel like, look, forget all the scientific stuff and all this extra. Yeah, you guys, and I just want to say, but I'm going to get on here and I'm going to keep it real with you guys because I just feel like this is something that a lot of, a lot of us women need to know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be feeling like stuff don't be affecting y'all and it do. Um, I can keep doing videos like this if y'all want to. I mean, it's up to y'all. Comment down below, baby. But I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>